Right, sorry it's been a while, but I went on the FNA course and uh, got let, got kind of behind on my videos. So <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing is showing you a quick tutorial on how to do your best boots, your drill boots. Now, you, as you've noticed, as in my previous videos, my drill boots have been outstanding. So I'm going to show you a quick. A few quick techniques, or what's worked for me. What's worked for me in um, in doing mine, okay? So, <clears throat> what you're going to need is two yellow dusters, one for putting on, one for taking off, and you're going to need parade gloss and bog standard polish. Okay, so, now I always do it with a uh, uh, parade gloss first. It's the way I've, I was taught, it's the way I've, I'm always going to do it. Tight around as you can. Hot water, like in the other videos, a little bit. And then work it in. Now, for all your NCOs out there, or potential NCOs, and you've got black boots, this is what I want you to do. Just a quick update. Really work it in. If you're like me, you love this part of the being a cadet or whatever. Uniform, you take care of the uniform and you get noticed. That's why I joined up. It's one of the reasons I joined up. Because my dad was in the army and I loved it. All the thing you can be sure of, you see, I was going to be playing it by the book. I haven't done my parade boots for, for a while. And it's going to take me a little while to become an, to become an instructor, so I should have said a little, bit, a little while longer than I thought. But don't worry, I'll get there. I was here with the Kings five years ago. Welcome back then, Colonel. You should feel quite at home. Thank you. Certainly recognise a number of old faces out there. A few I didn't expect to survive the amalgamation. Now I'm shooting this on my uh, selfie stick. <clears throat> it's a good idea, whoever invented them. So, I hope, they, I hope they've won. I hope they've got, <laughs> got their million.
need some at Whip Snake? No, sir. Now, as you can probably see instantly, look at that. Look at the nasty big fat pigeon. Do look that. at the depth in that show. Or is your mouth the continent? No, sir. No! If we can't eat together, how are we expected to work together, fusilier robots? Right, now you're going to hear this from the new CEO, but I will put it in layman's language for you. Back into hot water and keep I going. I don't care what you were before, a king's. A Cumbrian or a bloody cocktail waitress. You are now the king's own fusiliers. You work it round, round the toe cap. Send you back to Saint Is that clear? Now I do suggest you get a pair of brown boots. Well, it's certainly high. Okay. That's the bit, I suppose. To get a command at his age, unless he has some influence up top. Nah, he made his mark early on. He's always tipped for a battalion. With Colonel Osborne stepping aside, it just came sooner rather than later. So, there you have it, gentlemen. My aim over the next few months is to turn the King's Own Fusiliers into a highly professional, mechanized infantry battalion. Operational efficiency is the priority. To achieve it, we must mold the traditions of two fine old regiments into a single identity that all the men can be proud of. I know it will be easy. But we must ensure that it happens, and happens quickly. I'm quite sure that you all take your part. Thank you. Code, bearing in mind the inevitable frictions, how are the men taking the armor measure? They're still some aggro. CSM Stubbs advised me he was traveling the cook house earlier. Which company is that? B Company. So. You're not going to give me trouble, are they, Tim? No. Bit of a clash in the cookhouse along old family lines? Yes. I'll get their minds back on the job. Our job is to prepare the regiment for new operational challenges, right? Yes, Colonel. I'll give you a month to do it. This defense exercise against the Malvern should help bring the men together. Yeah, I'm sure it will. There's no love loss there. The Malverns are always pushing their luck. Should make them fitting opponents for your boys, then. Buy a new car, ladies. Get out of my face, will you? Soft tops, saloons, headbacks. Go and have a look. No thanks, my husband's already buying me a car. A new one? Yeah, but it's tax free. Tony says we've got to thank most of them for perks. I can save you 3,500. We're talking pounds sterling, not Deutschmarks. Come look at this one, Joy. Want to go for a spin, then? Have a look inside, love. Since rule ever. Donna, babes on the fray ground. So. That I'll be. Oh, well, I had that. Are you ex army then? We don't lose <laughs> With cash. Donna, we're supposed to be checking out your sofa. She does a spin then, or what? Yeah. So, friend, want to get in the back, Donna? No, thanks. Now a lot of people will say don't use parade gloss for bullying. Yeah. <clears throat> tell them to come to sit. Tell them. You can tell them from me that that's a load of bollocks. Because I, I pull my boots every single day with parade gloss, and look how good and amazing my boots are. Tell them to go onto YouTube and search for the Organic Family Cooking Show or Philip May, and this is how good my boots are. Trying to get the women together for a shawaddy woody what you call it, but dig out all our old platform shoes again. Do you want to come? I didn't dig them out the first time. I'd look pretty silly wearing them in a baby game.
Christmas will take time, and I know you're at school or at college or you've got whatever. So try and find time when you're not doing stuff. What's this? Just to put a couple of layers on. I meant the fancy dress outfit. Look, mate, like it. Eat your Always by enjoying a new car. I thought maybe, you know, you could get one good out of that. Do you think I'm going to buy your car after you went for a drive with that bloke? Oh, good luck, Dave. He was giving us a demonstration. Oh, well, we can't afford it. It doesn't have to be convertible. Something fast, you know, something stylish. Oh, you think I'm going to buy your car because some fat, ugly salesman says it's stylish? We can't afford it. It's tax free. I could get a job. You don't have any working. You've got Macaulay. Hey, he's your kid as well, you know. No. What did you do that for? Because you don't think of anyone but yourself. Now look what you've done. When's Nance back from England then? I'm not sure. I should speak to her tonight. How's the old sergeant's course going? She said anything about the future? Uh, we haven't really had time to talk. She's been very busy. She said that, did she? We want to sort things out, mate. You gotta be straight with these women. As you can see, the, it's getting deeper and deeper. I'm back. I take pride in my boots and my uniform. Everything I was taught from a cadet from my dad and from the courses okay. that I've done to connected with the army oh, and everything. Come in. I want to have a bath in peace. Leave the door open and then we can talk. I don't want to talk to you. Hey, come on, what's taking so long? Something on that a chance, Nickers. Uh, we haven't got a driver, sir. We haven't got a brain either. Nobody else here know how to drive this vehicle. Uh, I've been driving, sir. Since when, Roberts? Since kind of last year, sir. What you waiting for? Can you sort of your turn? Have you not got it? Get in there! Work on the other side.
Been a good job. Joyce! A uh, friend of yours, is she? Joyce! Is she deaf? I hope so. She won't have heard you and your husband shouting last night. We weren't shouting. She was on the doorstep here. She seemed very upset. Anyway, I'd better go. when all these old loyalties are forgotten and we can stop all this regimental rivalry. So how do they compare to the Cumbrians? Well, they're, they're a nice bunch of lads. It's just not like the shout on that much of a mood in my voice. That's what it is. But you were just trying to be sexy. Why, well, won't this be sexy? Chocker! <sighs> you see what I mean? Come on, Terry's going to take us to a beer fest and then we're going to get alone. Are you mates now, will you? For Christ's sake, Donna, I'm going to buy the car. I thought you'd be pleased. Joyce found out about Tony's affair. What? Who told her? expecting the best from us, so am I. We don't want to get shown up by the Marvin Regiment, do we, Sarge? And one of the boys will be sending out some fighting patrols against the Marvins tonight. We'll be back out later to check on progress. You happy? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good night, Sarge. If you're like me, you'll be very, very proud of your uniform and your turnout. <clears throat> Chopping onions. Oh, sorry to bother you, but have you done anything about the posters for the concert yet? No. Um, hang on a minute. Keep an eye on them. I've been meaning to give these back. Have you sold any? No. It's not a very good time for people at the moment. Listen, how about Summit Adventurous instead of the concert? An army weekend for the wise, you know, something competitive and invigorating. I was thinking of going home to see my mum. Yeah, but you're not going in the next week, are you? 
I'll speak to Miss Butler about it and we'll get Michael to do the organising. You all right, John? Do you want to talk? Come on. Jack, stop it, you two, will you? He looks like his dad. Like Michael, you mean? People say that, but they're not his. My first husband got seven year rich after about five years. Shovel wrecky. Oh, me, one. Do a shovel wrecky. Evening, gentlemen. Oh, Sarge. Do you want me to set the trip plan, Sarge? Yeah, go on it. Go with him, Dave. Make sure he does it right. Go on in. I need to talk to you about New Zealand, Tom. Uh, Dave reckons. John may have heard about you and Lewis. Sorry, Tom, it was an accident. Oh, it's all right. It's not your fault, is it? She said nothing to you. No, not exactly, no. Yeah. It's not war. Just slipped out. Dying, dying, dying. I'll tell you, lads. Nothing's gone right since Hong Kong. Nothing. <laughs> you need to a flower. It's disappeared. Sodden Morgans have taken it. Stay down! Stay down! Well, where are you going? Only oh, Tony, I'll get him back. Stay, stay! This even works with brown boots. With the ones that you get from before the cadets. <clears throat> Just make sure that you get the right kind of polish. Circles, circular motions. Not too small, because you'll be there all day. But not too big, because you won't get the desired well, effect. Hong Kong, isn't it? When you get the new car, then? Haven't thought about it. Have you seen it? See? Yeah, it's nice. It's the concert off. Some of Bernie said I thought maybe there was a problem. Business and staff's decided. I hear you're organising an army weekend. I haven't had any invite. Staff sort of know the Exercise control have been on. They've asked if we have any information for them about an incident that happened yesterday at B Company position. Uh, we were bumped, Colonel. One of the boys got themselves snatched and his mate effected a rescue. One of their lads was quite badly injured. With respect, Colonel, it is an unfortunate incident, but they shouldn't have been trying to snatch one of our boys in the first place. The King's Own Fusiliers are professional, disciplined soldiers. I've got no room for thugs in my battalion. Yes, Colonel. Apparently this soldier was decked with a rifle, but Morgan CO wants an explanation. So do I. Mm. 
These boots will be the death of me. Uh -huh. Best thing, uh, best thing you can do is just keep it going. Tell you what, you better not be lying to me. I've run into a tree. Left the Jones disease. Right, quick drink and then we'll go for a spin. I can't. I'll go back to see Joe. Come on, mate, just a quick one on the way home. We can have a talk. Tom Wilson, a word. We wait for you. Your lad has been practicing freelance dental surgery. Uh, I'll have to make inquiries, sir. And who would you make inquiries from? Will's been found to follow CSM. Why? Because they found out about your mate's handiwork, haven't they? I hardly touched him. Don't worry. I'll tell them that when you call Marshall. Don't mind him up, mate. He'll be all right, Dave. He'll have a good look at That Roberts will probably tell him it was me anyway. Actually, I know it was. You're all kings. You all look the same to me. Mm. Oi! 